hello everyone welcome back to you can automate in this playlist we are going to start with a mobile automation using web driver io so this will be a very basic introduction section of uh, epm because in mobile automation using web driver io web driver io will be using a service called apm service before doing web driver io mobile automation we need to first understand what is apm and how the apm structure is built so that we can use that apm in our web driver io right uh, so let's understand the apm introduction here first so that we can go forward and start with the web driver io right so apm APM is an open source automation tool which is mainly built for mobile automation which works on native mobile apps, hybrid apps and mobile web apps. That means that native is like some of the applications which are only available on the mobile like calculator and some of the applications which are only in the uh, mobile device. right? And hybrid is which are available as an app in the mobile device or it is available in the uh, web desktop also right so for example there is a facebook app which is available in the mobile device as in the web browser also right and mobile web apps that means that for some of the application there is no separate app but it is supported in the mobile browsers those we call it as a mobile web apps and it supports ios device also whatever the applications which you will be using on apple phones that also uh, supported by mo APM right and it supports Android and Windows app that means that the apps which you will be using on Apple mobile phones that will be built on iOS uh, operating system right the apps which you will be using on uh, uh, Android mobile phones that will be based on Android platform and similarly Windows so we had a Nokia phone right Th that was using a Microsoft uh, OS and Windows 8 so we will be having a three categories of uh, mobile devices one is apple that is built on ios another is uh, all android phones it can be of samsung motorola and any other android phones and another one is a windows kind of a nokia mobile devices right we built on uh, windows up right and this apm provides a cross platform support that means that the same application same code uh, same uh, framework whatever you have written that will work for ios devices that is the app which is built on ios technology and it works for android uh, device also that is uh, built on android application right and uh, so it supports uh, windows apps also so that is the biggest feature of apm so that it supports all uh, platforms that's why we call it as a cross platform right and how does this achieve so how this apm will be able to do all these things is by using some of the vendor provided frameworks so what is that is say for example if i want to interact with a facebook application on apple phone then apm uses this xui test framework which is developed and uh, published by using ios only right so apple company only given some of the uh, some of the frameworks which will be used to interact with the apps which are running on the apple phones that is xui test okay and uh, from android uh, they have given ui automator whenever you want to interact with any of the web applications on android phones then apm uses ui automator correct and similarly on windows so whenever APM want to interact with uh, any of the Windows phone, then it uses a Win app driver, right? So we have discussed three types of uh, frameworks which are given by different vendors. But how does this APM connect to all these things and interact, right? That is the biggest question. That's why all these three frameworks will be wrapped under one of the web driver, web driver API that will be used by APM so that uh, APM will just contact with web driver API and this web driver API will internally connect to different different frameworks right so for example whatever we have discussed till now if you want to pictureize it how does it look like 
if you see apm is a, a topmost uh, uh, hierarchy apm comes on the top and if you see under apm we will be having web driver api this web driver api will have a different vendor provided uh, frameworks that is xui test ui automator and win app driver right this is a very high level architecture or very high level block diagram of apm what it contains different components of apm now, if you come to uh, APM basic architecture, right? So APM uses a APM client to write automation script. When we need to interact with the mobile device, first we need to write automation script, right? To write automation scripts, APM uses something called APM client, right? And this APM client is available in different programming languages that is JavaScript, Java, C Sharp, Ruby, Python, right? That we have a different uh, language available and all this language supports this APM client. Okay. Now, these scripts are converted to a REST based HTTP request using web driver JSON wire protocol. All the scripts, whatever we have developed, right, that will be converted to a JSON wire protocol and it will be sent to APM server. Right. Then by using a UI automator for Android, if there is an Android device, then it uses a UI automator. If it is a iOS device, then it uses a XUI test. If it is a Windows, then it uses a Win app driver, right? To talk to mobile device. So if you want to look at the picture of this, say for example, I'm writing some APM scripts, some automation scripts for mobile this we call it as a apm client and there will be something called apm server also all these scripts whatever we have written that will be sent to apm server by using a json wire protocol and this apm server is responsible for connecting to a different mobile devices so for example i have a three types of mobile devices one is android one other is uh, apple device another is windows device by using a respective a vendor provided frameworks it connects to each mobile device and it will interact with them and whatever the automation scripts which we have written that will be executed on respective mobile devices see if it is a android device consider this as samsung and it uses a ui automator and if it is an apple ipad then it, it uses a xui test if it is a windows phone then it uses a win app driver right so this right this is how the apm interact with the mobile devices by using a vendor provided frameworks okay so this is about basic architecture and basic understanding of apm in coming sessions we'll be having a more in detail about apm how to set up the apm and how to use apm with web driver io right so go through this and do let me know if you have any questions Thank you.